Hey guys, it's Spore, and um, I just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on with me right now. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been doing videos, um, but not a lot has been going on with me dolly-wise, but a lot has been going on with me personally um, lately. So, I thought I would just share a little update with you guys on what I've been doing and on the small changes that I've done with my dolls. Um, the only new things that I've gotten for my dolls lately are on Friday I got a my For My Doll wig order in. Um, so you can see I got this gorgeous teal wig for Cass. Um, I'm in the dark pretty much so you can't see the color so well but it's just beautiful. And I'm so impressed with it. It's my definitely my favorite wig and the color is so rich and it's just perfect for her. So she's almost complete now. Um, this is... I made this outfit for her and this is the correct wig and these are, this is the right color of eyes except I just want to get her low domes because um, certain angles they look really set sunken in um, but they're okay for now they photograph well sometimes depends so I, uh, I'm working with her still but she's almost complete um, for my dog gave me this cute little hair clip as well for free so I thought that was really nice of them um, so she's got this new wig, and Paige has this gorgeous wine red colored wig. It's kind of curly in the back, and it looks really sweet on her. And I absolutely love it, so I'm really, really stoked about her, because lately I've been kind of feeling like she's been a bit blah to me. Um, I haven't really been inspired by her lately, but this wig is really doing it for me, so um, I'm really impressed with it as well. And once again, for my doll, wig colors, beautiful. Um, I'm just a little worried about staining because the colors are so rich and um, because this one's styled it feels kind of a little greasy like it's got product in it um, but I can't put it on with a wig cap because for her because her head is um, she wears a 7-8 wig um, but she's just on the, the 8 inch line so um, it won't fit on if I put a wig cap underneath so crossing my fingers on this <laughs> and I'll, I'll probably take her out of it for long term but I don't really like taking my doll's wigs off and leaving them wigless makes me feel sad so we'll see how that goes she's a really stained doll when I bought her second hand so I'm not really freaking out I think I can figure it out finally I got one more wig and it was for Spore and he has this hot pink wig that I've been dying to buy since it came out on the website um so I finally ended up buying it and it looks so cute on him. The sweater is from my friend Kelpie. It's a girl sweater I'm pretty sure but I think it looks really sweet on him and he's just, I just love this doll. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, so that's my updates on my dolls and their wigs going on. Um, so yeah, personally, in my, um, you can probably see behind me, it's not my regular messy, cluttery white room set up right now because I'm back at my parents' house. Um, I'm just here for the weekend right now, but in two more weeks, I am leaving my job and I'm moving back here. Um, my job's just not what it was a year ago when I started, so um, I've decided that I need to come back here, be with my family, and figure out something else. Um, so I'm working on that. So I'm kind of starting to freak out a little because I haven't been jobless for six years. And I've just gone from one job to right to the next. Um, so we'll see how that goes for me because I'm, I'm just really nervous about quickly finding a new job and trying to keep it in my teaching career. Um, I've been sending out resumes, but I haven't heard anything back lately. So unfortunately... Um, I'm going to be here at my parents' house. Um, we spent the day yesterday totally revamping my room, uh, cleaning it all up, my old room. Um, so it's, it's getting rearranged and it'll be done, almost done soon. And hopefully I'll, it'll be livable for me for a little while until I figure something out. Um, so yeah, I've just been really busy with that life kind of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to give you this update and to show my, the one happy thing that I have is these wigs because I happened to come home um, on Thursday to my parents' house and I was having the wigs shipped here because I didn't know when they were going to ship and I wasn't sure if I would still be 
um, in Windsor at the time. So I had them shipped directly to my parents and I came home on Friday and the package arrived for me in the morning so I went upstairs, the guy who knocked, I went upstairs and grabbed it and was really happy um, that that was an exciting thing for me to happen this weekend. Um, so yeah, you probably won't be seeing a, a lot of different stuff for my dolls while I'm figuring out what to do with myself. <laughs> Um, but I, I'm sure that once I'm off for a bit, um, I'll have some extra time to do some sewing, maybe reopen my Etsy, um, maybe make some more outfits, kind of like Kestrel's, that I'm, I really, because I really like how her outfit turned out. So I'm thinking of making some more outfits like this, like a full outfit, with the top, the shorts, the, the, and the stockings and everything, and maybe some people will bite on that, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's my plans for right now, and those are my babies. My doll shelf here is really full. I made one shelf for the dolls back at this house, and they all fit on it. They just fit on it, so there's no room for more dolls, so that means I'm done for now. <laughs> um, no new dolly plans right now, so just keeping these guys, making them beautiful. You know the drill. So yeah, that's it. Um... If you have any questions for me, please feel free to comment as always, and I'll be happy to answer them. But uh, take care, guys, and I hope to talk to you again soon. See ya!